Well, hidey ho there, YouTube. As you can see, snowmobile trailer ain't got no snowmobiles on it. It's got two flat tires and just wasn't messing with it. So I used my handy dandy skid steer over there, the old mini skid steer, to uh, get him off the trailer and get him in the garage. This guy right here took about 18 pulls to get it started the first time with fresh gas. I run them out of gas completely before I park them. That way there's no gas to go bad in them. This one took about 10 pulls first time. I was surprised. See how it's fuel injected. Usually it's second pull every time. And But it's all good in the neighborhood. I uh, plan on doing a couple trips up north this year. Uh, we set aside some money for the winter. So hopefully that'll be a thing. I know it's kind of snow up there. It's already snowing up there. So it's looking good. But uh, things that we've done over the summer, we've been really, really busy. So that's why I haven't put up a video. I mean, I put up the, the video for the V-Star, but that's about it. I didn't mess with the Raptor at all this year. The Raptor's sitting in the back corner over there. I didn't get rid of it. She's still here. Oh, right there. V-Star's right there. I'm going to do some work on it at some point. But I was just too busy this summer to do it. So we leveled the yard over there a little bit where the old big F-350 V-10's parked. And then we brought in topsoil, pulled the driveway back. We redid the porch screen in this portion over right here. And you can see we moved the door that was over there. Over there, we're doing some housework. We were going to add on and put a big old addition on right here. But that didn't happen because lumber prices went up to like $13 for a 2x4. And I was like, yeah, no, fuck that. So we did not. Uh, we did crushed concrete the driveway from right there. We put about 6 to 8 inches of crushed concrete in from there all the way over to there and then we wrapped around the corner here and went all the way back there so our mud pit is gone sorry i had a ladybug crawling on me we have like the uh apocalypse of ladybugs box elder bugs and stink bugs and they're just everywhere right now um so i just wanted to touch base we hit 270 subscribers thank you all it's amazing to have that many people that are willing to sit back and watch the content um, yeah, I mean, I plan on putting out, uh, riding videos and stuff this winter. I think that this winter is going to be a hell of a winter. I mean, my, my guesstimation is that with the amount of rainfall that we had and, uh, the amount of like warm weather that we've had so far. I feel like we're going to get hammered this winter. This winter just, this summer just has felt different from the beginning. It's rained and rained and rained and rained. I n never had a dry point in the summer where I had to stop mowing grass. So we didn't get canceled off of any jobs this summer, except for like one. And it really didn't need to be canceled. So I feel with the amount of moisture that we've had, that this winter is just going to be snowy and brutal which we're in dire need of a snowy winter. So I'm excited. You're plowing snow and riding snowmobiles. Still gonna do the giveaway. So we need to hit a thousand subscribers and get monetized to be able to do the giveaway. We've got about 3,000 hours of watch time and we need 4,000 hours. So you gotta watch some videos and get that watch time up. Usually about winter time, that's when it's going up. Um, a lot of uh, watch time on the snowmobile videos. I don't want to have a bunch of dry content here because people will be clicking out of the video and everything. I just want to let you know what's going on. Let you know I'm still here. Still planning on doing stuff. And I did actually, uh, the ski do this year is I re-registered it. Bam. Trail passed it. So that's all legal. Um, the plan is to have Kayla, the other half, uh, ride that and get in on some videos I uh, got to get her a helmet and get her geared up and everything and I want to get her riding so you might see her in the videos and you know I did say that I was gonna get my mom to ride a snowmobile back in the beginning of all this and guess what it might happen this year so stay tuned for that we'll see I got to make sure my GoPros are all in order because that's been a real problem the past year is that I haven't had any audio when I record my videos because the mic adapter has been messing up and it's a GoPro mic adapter. So I ordered another one 
and that one seemed to work. And somebody said something about the, the specific microphone you use is important too. So I ordered a Sony microphone. No plugging in on that or anything, but uh, so far so good. Um, I tried using the other one for another helmet just to see if that was the problem and it doesn't record any audio. So it's shit when I record a whole riding video for you guys and I talk for whatever long and you know do the, the snowmo vlog, you know, and I get back and I check the video and there's absolutely no audio. It's just, it's devastating. It takes the wind out of my sails. <laughs> and then I try to go make another one and it's just not as good as it was before. So I'm trying to get my uh, logistics worked out with that. That way I've got good content and it's not shitty audio. Because, man, I'm telling you what, when I do get good audio and everything, it seems like a good video. We did a night ride. It was like a last minute thing. Like I had my buddy just roll up on a snowmobile one night just brop up the driveway with his buddy and then we took off and I didn't have a chance to grab the GoPro or anything so I didn't but I want to try to be more prepared this year that way we can get more content out for you as you can see it's November and we still got leaves on the trees like they just started turning colors and there's still some trees that are green so I feel like that's gonna be an issue for leaf cleanups and stuff but I'm going to cut this off of here. I just want to let you know that I'm still alive. I'm still here. Still producing content. I just didn't have anything good to put out there for you guys. So I didn't want to put out bullshit. Because it seemed as if when I was just talking and talking and talking and just putting videos with no like really good content. People were unsubscribing. And I don't want that. I don't want bullshit videos to come across your newsfeed and you'd be like, delete. So... I want to have good content for you, so if I don't have anything good to say, I'm not going to say anything at all, because that seems to be a problem. And it could have also been from when the channel was bounty hunting, and they're just not interested in the content that I got going on. So, it's possible. I had a whole bunch drop off from that, because I had like almost 100 subscribers when I was doing bounty hunting, because I just started out with that, and then I stopped doing the bounty hunting on the channel. So, it's possible that's the uh, other issue of losing subscribers. I don't know, and some people, they just subscribe and they unsubscribe hard to say but I still want to do the giveaway give away the snowmobile helmet and then eventually once we get bigger and going more I would like to give away a snowmobile I'm still trying to hammer down a uh, repairable snowmobile I had one that I thought was a good deal and I keep throwing out offers it's not ski do mxz um, problem with that is is it's been sitting for years it's had mice in it um, it's just, like, it's not worth much. It's going to take a lot to fix it. And that's why I wanted to get it. So I could do videos repairing everything and then give it away. But the guy won't budge on it. And he thinks it's still worth $1,000 and it's not. It's not even running. The seat's all trashed and plastics are fucked and it's just no good. So I keep getting bombarded with ladybugs. I don't want to bore you guys out. I don't even know if everybody made it this long, but I'm going to cut it out here. I just want to let you know there's going to be videos to come. Um, yeah, and that's about all I got for you. So stay classy, y'all.